Hi there. In this video, we're going to take a look at the changes that are in the Launch Control XXL script version 2. This script is free to existing owners and should be available by the time you're seeing this video. First up, you can see from the view of the unit here that we now have return tracks on the controller. These are right justified to be separated from the main tracks if there's space on the controller and are indicated by a different color. There are two modes which the return tracks operate in, which I'll demonstrate now. The first mode, which is what we're in currently, is where the normal tracks will take priority. As you see, I now have eight normal tracks and that is what we can see on the controller. I can scroll across to the right and make the return tracks viewable. In the second mode, which I've just switched into via the configuration option in the provided config.txt file, you can see that now the return tracks are always present, however many normal tracks there are. So I have the same setup here. We're only seeing normal tracks 1 to 6 here, which I can control. And we've still got the two return tracks visible and workable. If we want to access tracks 7 and 8, then as before, we can scroll along and these will now be in view. We can switch into device mode and as with our normal tracks the return tracks are now selectable and the devices on the return tracks are controllable with the 24 encoders. The next change that we've made for this version is the ability to turn off the pans and have another send row. So I've just switched that mode on and we've now got three rows of sends. Only two are actually displaying at the moment because I only have two return tracks. But if I add another return track, then the third row will fill in now. And adding another one will cause the send bank light to light up. And I can now switch to the next set of sends. Also, the lights are enabled and disabled to show you how many sends you can actually use. The final update for this version is to be able to set the track bank size. And this allows you to change the number of tracks that are scrolled when moving left and right. So I've set this to two now, so instead of scrolling across one track at a time, I'll be scrolling across two tracks at a time. So I can set this to any value I like to be able to move around the set in larger increments. So this updated script is now available for download from the Isotonic website, and we hope you enjoy the additional control. 